our way to Dunedin. Welcome to Dunedin. We're spending two nights in this hotel, in the Victoria Hotel, which is right downtown Dunedin, and we cannot wait to explore this beautiful area. Good morning from historic Dunedin. Today we are checking out Dunedin, which is on the Southern Island. It is the second largest city on the Southern Island after Christchurch with a population of about 137,000 people. And we are currently walking through the Dunedin Botanic Gardens. So Dunedin is very close to the Otago Peninsula, which is known for its wildlife, rugged coastlines, and just absolutely beautiful scenery. We're not gonna be able to get out there this time, but I think we will be back on a road trip once we move down to the South Island. Dunedin is well known for its Scottish and Maori history. There are a ton of Scottish influences in the architecture and there's a really nice castle here, which again, I don't think we're gonna see, but we're gonna check it out next time. Dunedin is home to Baldwin Street, which is the steepest street in the world. And we're gonna be checking that out either later today or sometime tomorrow. That's gonna be a bucket list item and definitely something to see when you're in Dunedin. the Dunedin Botanical Gardens. It's free to visit. You can just walk around. There's lots of really cool plants, massive trees, and a few spots where you can see the city and the surrounding areas. Quite beautiful. I would recommend this if you have a bit of time that you want to spend walking around. We're trying to figure out how to get into the aviary because apparently they have parrots and everything. heading over to Spites Brewery for our brewery tour. The tickets for this tour were 30 New Zealand dollars each and we'll let you know if it's worth it. We just finished up at Spates Brewery and it was amazing. It was totally worth the 30 New Zealand dollars each. We had a ton of samples at the end of it. Some of the beer was not really my speed, but they had a very delicious cider. And now we are walking around the downtown area and we've stopped by the First Church of Otago. Well, it looks like the railway station is undergoing some reconstruction. We're gonna go inside and check it out anyway. Baldwin Street. This is the steepest street in the world and at its steepest point it has a gradient of 1 in 2.86. I don't really know what that means but there's your measurement. So these are my final thoughts on Dunedin. 
Dunedin is a very small city, a very small town, and it definitely feels that way. We haven't been able to go out and experience things like the Lenarch Castle or the Albatross Center because we don't have a vehicle here. So what I would say is if you're planning on coming to Dunedin and you have the option of driving, I would definitely do that over flying here just for the sake of being able to actually see the things that you would like to see. The public transport is existent, but it doesn't go out very far. You can take public transit to things like Baldwin Street, it's also worth noting that you definitely want to book a shuttle ahead of time to get you to and from the airport. I will link a place down below that we used that we absolutely loved. This video is not sponsored at all, but we just really enjoyed their service and it was $20 New Zealand dollars per person. We thought that was a really good value considering an Uber to the city center from the airport was about $80. Another thing I wanted to talk about is that the train station, one of the most famous things to see in Dunedin right now is covered, completely covered and under renovations. So just keep that in mind if you're planning a trip down here in the next few months. Thank you so much and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.